Hello, coaches. Welcome back to another episode of Coach Better Spotlight. My name is Kim Cafino, and my goal is to help you coach better. After decades as a teacher and coach in international schools, I founded my company, Eduro Learning, to help you embrace your inner leader and make a bigger impact in your school setting as a teacher, a coach, or a leader. I work with clients around the world through our certificate programs and private mentoring packages, and these episodes, especially today's, are often inspired by those powerful conversations. This Spotlight episode is about making learning personal and how important it is to put the learner at the center of professional growth, just like we do in our classroom with students and just like we do here at Aduro in our certificate programs. In the full-length podcast episode, we talk about some big themes for the year, including moving from defining to refining, why coaching is the key to sustainable professional growth in schools, and the changing landscape of international schools and recruitment. This episode is a real inside look at what we're thinking about here at Aduro Learning and the kinds of conversations that I'm having with clients in the coach, women who lead, and our private mentoring packages. I really wanna hear what you think too. If something in the episode resonates with you or you totally disagree, let me know. And of course, if you have a topic you'd like to hear us talk about or a guest you'd like to hear on the podcast, share that too. You can leave it in the comments down below, you can join our Coach Better Facebook group, or you can send me a DM on social media at Eduro Learning on Twitter or Instagram. I love hearing from you and I wanna keep these episodes practical and relevant for you. To listen to the full episode, subscribe to Coach Better wherever you get your podcasts. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel here to catch all of our latest episodes. And after the show, head over to coachbetter.tv to get all of our resources for instructional coaches. So that's like getting into our second theme, which is kind of around professional learning for educators. And I really appreciate the way that you have articulated the importance of educators, professionals in any setting, but in our case, we're talking about educators being reflective about what is that next step they want to take and phrasing that I'm kind of thinking about in my head and I'm using and stuff they're talking about, really putting yourself at the center of your professional learning, I will Mm -hmm. say. It's my job to say that I think that's something we do really well at Aduro Learning. We put you, the individual, at the center of our professional learning opportunities in our certificate programs, the coach, women who lead, and co-tail, and obviously in our private mentoring packages. And I think there is a, I don't know, history or culture of schools providing what I would call one size fits all or tick box PD, like we're just ticking the box. Okay, social and emotional wellness, that's important because of pandemic, let's tick the box and do one size fits all social and emotional wellness training for everybody. And I think as educators, as professionals, it's our duty to find the professional learning experience that really is meaningful, purposeful for you to leverage that incremental change you want to make because the skills you're building as an educator go so much farther beyond just the classroom or being just a teacher. But because we kind of get stuck in maybe oftentimes poor professional learning environments in our schools, we stop valuing professional learning as individuals. And to me, that's such a waste because I see the clients that I work with, the clients who are investing in their professional growth, And I see the progress that they can make. You're talking about having a coach, having somebody um, cheer you on, having somebody hold you accountable to the goals that you set, having somebody clarify what your goals actually are, help you clarify what your goals actually are. That is so valuable. And I think as educators, we get kind of trapped in the only way I can think about saying it is this one size fits all or whatever is available, like poor quality professional learning that we don't realize that it's actually, it exists. 
it's worth investing in and it's going to take us to that next step, that next professional growth opportunity that we are looking for. I had a client last night. I was on a private mentoring call last night and I always ask what was most helpful in our call today, you know, for you. And she said, and you know, people often say this and it always kind of strikes me when I hear it. She said, hearing you paraphrase what I said, help me recognize what I really think. And Hmm. How many times do you get that opportunity to do that? Like whether it's with a coach in your school, working with me in our private mentoring packages or joining one of our certificate programs, working with a colleague, working with a mentor in your school setting, having that opportunity to really thoughtfully reflect on where you want to grow. Are we, are you investing in that experience? Because your school might not Hmm. offer it for you as part of the regular school PD. Well, I, I'm going to go to bat for schools here just generally. I, I do think um, a lot of times that professional learning at schools is often very, well, it is one size fits all, right? Um, and to be fair, I think sometimes it has to be just to ensure that everybody is at that same, same message one level, especially at the beginning. Yep. So, yeah, you need to give the same message to everybody so that we're all on the same page. Um and then what's the next step? I think sometimes that's where schools may not always get it right, right? It is important that we all sit down and say, this is what we believe as a school. Absolutely. These are our priorities as a school about teaching and learning. This is, you know, um, but then what's the next step? Okay, where are you on this continuum and yes. what can you do to grow? Yes. Where are you on this continuum and who can you either support in coming along or get support from? Um, so that you can also come along. And again, that symbiotic uh, relationship between the mentor and the mentee, even in the same department, whatever, that's helpful for everyone, right? Um, And oftentimes, many times, sometimes, I guess it depends on your school, that is that level that isn't provided, Yes. right? So it's about coming up with that next level. Um, And so how do you take what a school gives you because it's important that they do give you that. I mean, we all have whatever three or five or seven or however many days yes. of in-service days, pre-service days. Um, how are you taking what they're giving you, helping to understand what they're asking for, trying to figure out what it is that you're after and bringing those things together? Yeah. And actually, I want to go back to one thing, like way back from the beginning to the going back to the defining to refining something just popped in my head. Um, Shabby Luther, who used to be at the American School of Bombay, um, she used to talk about going away. Like we always talk about, oh, we're doing this pilot program in um, in schools. So, oh, we're going to pilot iPads. Oh, we're going to right. And she she made a subtle change, and she started talking about prototyping. We're going to mm-hmm. prototype this program um, because, as as educators, as schools, we're like, well, pilot means I'm going to try it, and if I don't like it, I'm going to chuck it out. Right. Oh, yeah, we piloted it wasn't successful. So now we're doing something totally different. We're not taking the lessons that we've learned. Right. Um, and now we're, oh, my wife's come back. And now we're, if we're talking about prototyping, we're talking about, or actually, we're going to check it. We're going to decide if it worked. And then we're going to make those subtle changes. So I think even just that change of language is helpful in um, thinking about that, that change from refi- from defining to refining. I just Absolutely. something that popped in my mind later. I should have said that like eight minutes ago, but anyways, here we are. No, no, I think that's great. And I think that's a really interesting way to kind of think about your professional learning and your professional growth for the academic year, like coming ahead, looking at your refinement as being that prototype. I'm going to try this. I'm going to tweak this. I'm going to keep growing with it. And as you were talking about where schools may sometimes get it wrong. To me, my belief, I think you are in alignment with me, but maybe not. Um, I think that's where coaching gets it right, right? Because coaching is the opportunity to personalize any one size fits all, any consistent messaging, any school-wide vision, mission, mandate kind of conversations that we're having. Coaching is the opportunity to personalize those conversations and to help each individual or each team move from whatever that one size fits all piece was to the personalized, this is the next step for me. This is the next step for our team. And so I think that idea of looking at incremental change as a prototype, we continue to tweak over the course of the year and looking at the power and value of 
coaching as an opportunity to keep refining that. I think that's like what we are always talking about on this podcast. And I hope that anyone who listens to this, anyone who works with teachers, this is the mindset shift that we're looking for in schools. The mindset shift of coaching is valuable. I deserve to be coached. I want to be coached so that we're building that growth minded culture that we kind of want to see in schools. Yeah, hundred percent. Um, you know, I think that, that philosophy or that, that focus on coaching is what, what I really enjoy about the whole process, right? Whether I'm on one side of the table or the other, um, is that that really focused discussion about where you are, what it is that you want to get out of this, how it is, how that experience has gone for you, and what those next steps are, you know, and I think when done really well, um, and maybe sometimes even when done not so well, right? It's like, oh, yeah, I get to focus on me for a little bit. And I get to think about me and I get somebody asking questions about me and everybody loves to talk about themselves. Absolutely. Right? Everybody <laughs> likes to dive deep and like really have some <laughs> really have that feedback. Um, and, you know, when you think about at a lot of schools, what that that evaluation process is like, right? Sometimes it just feels very pro forma. It yes. just feels very like, okay, we're going to do this. We're going to do this or this. We're going to sign off. And you're like, well, where was that valuable conversation? Like there was one observation and there was a form or whatever that may be. Like every school is different what that looks like, right? But there, I I don't know if I've ever heard of a school or anybody at a school go, like, oh my goodness, that year end evaluation process was so amazing for me, um, right? But oftentimes you'll hear, oh my goodness, that coaching cycle or that discussion with my coach or those six weeks that I spent with the literacy coach or the numeracy coach or the whatever, like, oh, that was so great, right? I, I think that's that difference, right? Because it's really about you. You're setting the, you, sh you should be setting the agenda. You should be setting the outcomes. You should be helping to evaluate how you've done and what those next steps are. Um, and the coach should be like helping you realize all of the great things you've done and maybe helping you see some of the blind spots in your thinking and then helping you formulate that plan of what's next and how can you continue to improve? Not like, yep, we've done it. See you next year. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. If you enjoyed this episode, please head over to adurolearning.com to find out about all of our professional learning opportunities, including our certificate programs, The Coach, Women Who Lead, and Cotail, as well as our private mentoring packages. At Aduro Learning, teachers become leaders. Whatever your role in schools, you are so much more than just a teacher. As an educator, you have built an amazing skill set that goes far beyond the classroom, and you deserve professional learning that does more than just tick a box. It's time to end that cycle of one size fits all, barely there, minimum PD, and get professional learning that's customized just for you. Join us for one of our annual global cohorts of The Coach, Women Who Lead, or Cotail to see how our community-driven, personalized certificate programs will help you build the confidence to embrace your inner leader to make a bigger impact in your school setting. You deserve to be at the heart of your professional learning experiences. If you prefer to get started with something right now, we've also got self-paced courses where you can earn recertification credits, private mentoring packages that we can customize just for you, and downloadable workbooks you can jump into right away. Find it all at edurolearning.com. Plus, join our Coach Better Facebook group and connect with us on social media for more great resources at the intersection of technology, coaching, and leadership. I'd love to hear from you, no matter where you're at in your professional journey, to see how I can help you move forward. Send me a DM and let's start a conversation. See you next time.